jump straight into the topic at hand that Uche lovely, um, graciously reminded me of. Where have I got it here on my tab? There it goes, right here. So, as most of you guys have known, I think most of you guys have already seen this, but Brian Callan got the fucking shut up button from Stephen Crowder, which is fucking wild. We found out about the shut up button collectively on the internet because of um, the comedian Dave Landau who went on, I think it was, oh, what's his name? I don't know the guy's name podcast, but he went on his podcast and basically aired out um, Stephen Crowder and said, hey, this guy's a bad boss. He's a bad colleague and just an awful person behind the scenes. <clears throat> and he basically spoke about the button that Stephen Crowder would press if you wanted, if you wanted Dave Landau specifically to shut the fuck up and make his point. Um, and now we're seeing that that button isn't a specific button for Dave Landau. It's clearly, oh yeah, Michael, that's it, Michael Malice. Thank you, Teju. That button is definitely made for whoever's meant to sit in that seat. Whoever the comic kind of co-host is that sits there with Stephen Crowder, when Stephen Crowder feels like he's in his motion, he's in his bit and he's kind of doing his little voices and shit and he's in his rant, he presses that button so the other person can shut the fuck up and not talk. It's incredibly obnoxious, incredibly rude, and it legitimately would make me want to fight somebody. Brian Callen's got a clip where he's on the louder crowd where he's like, oh, um, some there's some story. Maybe, I don't know what they're talking about. And he's like, yeah, that makes me so violent, makes me so angry. It's like, no, 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 this should make you angry. If another grown man doesn't have the decency to tell you, hey, would you mind, would you mind <clears throat> let me finish my point? before you speak or whatever or just something hey, i'm just give me a minute or whatever or maybe put it uh, just wait whatever but instead of just pushing a button and shutting you up like you're some child i would legitimately want to fight that person i would legitimately want to you know push a chair in between his fucking earlobes or something or push it directly through his fucking forehead that's not cool so this is a clip taken from ladder crowder to give some context they're, they're they're taking the piss out of this either new zealand or the australian politician and they're trying to mimic his voice just realise how horrible the accent is from Stephen Crowder as well. Terrible accent. Let's see him repeat might, it. might be worth something. They're worth nothing here. We won't stand for this sort of <laughs> ugly behaviour. It's appalling. And I again make the point, it's not about free speech. This is hate speech, plain and simple. So right away, right? That's always wow. what they use. They Invade say it's, them. It's Sorry. not free speech. It's hate speech. Yeah, it's pure That's and simple. Fosters. If, if you want that, all right? If you don't, if you want to believe that men are, men, men have things like, Cooks. Okay, cooks. What kind of accent is that? He's not even funny. So imagine him trying to press a button on you so he can say this shit. This is what he's pressing a button on you for. And you just sit there and take it. That's why all those little memes and insults on the fucking Fire and the Kid subreddit where they call Brian Cannon a cuck, I get it now. Because he just takes it up the arse from these guys. Whether he's getting his... Whether Brendan's, you know, fucking slapping his face with his dick every single day, interrupting his stories, you know, talking down on him, essentially bullying him in a weird way. And he's 60 years old. He's 20 years Brendan Job's fucking senior. And he gets fucking talked down on. He gets rushed off of his topics. He can't correct him because he'd probably end up choking him to death in the studio there. He lets him say some nonsense day to day. Then he goes to Crowder. He thinks he's got a new boss in a safe space. And this guy is flipping, you know, sticking his dick in his earlobe, whipping him in a flipping cow costume and then pressing a button to tell him to shut the fuck up. Nah, I couldn't have it, man. I couldn't have it. Especially to tell these, this shitty joke. <laughs> it's you think, I bet you probably cuffs. think it's ladies. I bet you cuffs. probably think ladies if, if ladies. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Do you see that? You see how obnoxious he pressed that button, like he was upset mid rant. Mid rant, he presses it. Mid rant, you want that, again. all right? If you don't, if you want to believe that men, are, that's, men, that's men have things like Look at that. cooks. Okay, good. <laughs> you right think, you, I bet you probably cuffs. think ladies. I bet you cuffs. probably think ladies have, have ladies. Huh? <laughs> he presses it super hard, super obnoxious. Like you know, it's like a, it's like when you're having a, a an argument with your partner and they slam the door to let you know, yeah, fuck you, I hate you. Like, oh, what a piece of shit. But I'm wondering that button. When you press that button, does the light stay on forever? Like, shut the fuck up, Callan, or shut the fuck up, whoever you are, guest. Or does he have to press it again to turn the light off? Is it like an on-air switch? Like, you press it, on-air, you take it off, and the light goes off. Like, what happens? <laughs> He's such a piece of shit.
It's too good. Ladies. I bet you probably think ladies if if Ladies. Huh? I bet you probably think that. Look, if you want to be in a place Look how quiet he is. Oh can- no. Look how quiet Brent Brian is. As soon as that button gets pressed, he d- you don't hear nothing from him again. Let- let's see how long he doesn't talk. Let's time it. I'm gonna actually time it. Let's see how long Brian Callen stays quiet when fucking um what's his name? Uh Crowder presses the fucking uh, button. Where is it? Stopwatch. I've got a stopwatch up here. Let's see it, right? You can see you see my phone there with a stopwatch. Ladies, I bet you probably think ladies if if ladies. Huh? I bet you probably think that. Look, if you want to be in a place where kids parents can force them to keep their cooks, huh? Or place where there's every type of he venomous still hasn't said a spider, word. snake, and shark. He's not even you laughing. Don't know if you want a place that isn't a penal colony that was He's quiet. founded by rapists and murderers who sent you as punishment because everything could go. Head on over. He's laughed the, now. The Key West. I bet you'd like it there better, wouldn't you? Yes, you and your cooks. Uh, it's horrible, John. <laughs> That's not a cook. Worst lawyer ever. That guy said something first. <laughs> Worst lawyer ever. Okay, there we go. God. I was like, yeah, yeah. He shot him up for 35 seconds. That button shut him up for 35 seconds. So the button's probably like that. It's probably like that on-air button, but it's got shut the fuck up on it or something. Shut the fuck up, Rinks. Shut the fuck up, Ray Pest. Or whatever, right? <laughs> like, spelt Ray Pest as well. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, shut the fuck up, Lids. It's probably got it right there. It's probably got a little finger. <laughs> Honestly, man, things like this make me so happy to be a regular civilian. This is not life. This is not life. There's nothing about this, this is, that's dignified. If this is how you have to make a living, where another man is, has to dress you up as a cow and whips you, presses a button and tells you to shut the fuck up, forces you to do a rape joke so that you are as morally compromised as he is. Nah, that's not cool, man. That's not cool at all. That's not cool. <laughs> but I kind of have to like, in a weird way, I kind of have to respect how 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 um how much crowd the rules of an iron fist you know like he legitimately rules of an iron fist like the way he runs his household is how he runs his studio you know exactly who's in charge and callan figured that out pretty quickly yeah i mean you have no say so here <laughs> you went click you press that button super hard didn't it <laughs> He's such a king. I would never have that in the slightest, man. No amount of money is worth being treated like that. I don't think day to day, personally, anyway. But, you know, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about.